Hello, Digidestins. This is Kyle D, better known as Ride My Avatar, bringing you more Digimon trading card game news. Well, we got some major releases in English, which is really nice. We finally get to see, but we also got to see cards shown off. And I'm kind of skeptical at first. I do want to go over and review um, Debian, Digimon Debians. Um, amazing translation skill and using fonts really nicely. And paired to, you know, Bandai's version. So we're going to go over that. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to just show off the two cards in English and the one built by the you know amazing group that we have so without further ado let's get into it so let's go over we have Omnimon versus Chris Chris Garumon so if I screw up the name I am sorry but I am not the best at pronunciations and you guys will just turn off this video anyway if this is not what you like so First off, we got play cost and cost. They could have just did cost, but I get it. They needed to make it simplified for kids if they're playing this game, but who is in their right mind are playing this at the moment because unless Digimon overly hypes in their area, they're not going to be playing this. But play cost 15 highlighted. 15 is highlighted and really nice glow effect they gave um compared to the original so they kind of made it so it sticks out a bit digivolving cost they could have just stuck with the evolve but i get it did you did you evolve cost you know making it so they don't have to print six times over so now let's take a look so when did you evolving look at the blue square look at this blue square so when did you evolved when did you evolving so Ugh. There's going to be timing issues with this because, again, with wordings and everything like that, you create this time situation. So when did you evolve? And this makes it sound like the moment you, instead of being successful, which I know there's no counter spells in Digimon, but if it ever came down to something like this, it's weird because this effect would go in the way it's text in English. It wording would make it sound that it the moment it starts evolving, its effect goes off immediately, wiping the board. Um, but it's actually when did you evolve? So at successful by the wording of how they are is how this goes. So it's the moment he successfully plays, his effect goes off. So choose one of your opponent's Digimon, delete all your opponent's Digimon that shares a name with it. More issues with Google Translate or something like that. This is atrocious. This could have been so much better, but the wording is so bad. Delete, I don't mind. That's all context. This is all programming based. You would use this in computers and everything like that. That's fine. That's all fine and dandy. The biggest issue is delete all your opponent's Digimon that share a name with it. So you're going to have the people that are unbeknownst to them that, hey, all I need to say is Gurumon. So that means anything that shares Gurumon's name because that's how it's worded means they all die. So if you're playing a Gurumon deck that has Were Gurumon, Chris Gurumon, Gurumon, it means that they all go, right? No, 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 no. Not how that works. It's basically, let's say you have a field of Agumon, five Agumon, and then you have a War Greymon on the field. No. What would be Agumon and then Toy Agumon? If you choose Agumon, all the Agumon die, and then you have Toy Agumon that stays. Because he does not share the name. It is named cards. I know that this is going to cause confusion even for new players that are opening packs and everything like that. The way it's worded would mean that Toy Agumon would go, but it doesn't mean that. That is just not how that is. It is delete, pretty much destroy all your opponent's Digimon that has the same name with it of that selected Digimon. 
Okay, so that's how that works. And now when attacking, you can unsuspend. Okay, another word, basically fancy word to say, restand. It's another term for computers, you know, that's why they're using it. So this Digimon, by returning one of this Digimon's level six Digivolution cards to your hand. They could have used evolution sources, but Digivolu Digivolution cards makes it, it's so weird because the word is uh, really hard. So by returning one of this Digimon's level six Digivolution cards to your hand. Okay, at least it understands that it's this card the way it sounds in quick reading, you're going to have people that are going to try to pull it from another level six. Don't let them that that might be an issue later down the road. But don't worry, this card is going to be like one hundred dollars on release anyway, because thank you for being the most powerful card out of set one. So Omnimon is not really centered. If I really wanted to get a ruler down here, they could have possibly kicked it over a few more inches over to the right. And it should have been fine, but that's the issue. It's a level seven. Like the wording's fine. Um, Holy Warrior slash Royal Knight. Uh, that's very fine too. I'm really impressed with their wording. Um, at least they kept the Royal Knight and Holy Warrior. That's okay. But again, there could be a lot of issues that come down the road because of this, because of all of this. It's just terrible wording and it's Bandai. I know you guys are going to hate on it, and I know Devi, the Digimon crew on the Facebook page, just do such a great job. They really took time for this for each of your opponent's Digimon. Reveal one card from the top of your deck. You may play one black or red level five or less Digimon from among them without paying its cost. Put the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. See? Very clear, precise understanding this card does this, and doesn't leave it in weird context you need a manual to understand but that's just how it is next we have leo perdramon leo perdramon leopardman basically um so when did you evolving again the same issue this this your turn all your level four lord digimon gain jamming and they could have slummed this up and made it smaller font this digimon can't be deleted in battles against security damage digimon so again, the play costs this, the arts on these are 10 out of 10. They're amazing arts. I never hated Digimon arts that I need to see what they do for the foiling. And that might tone this card's value by value so much. I won't give it its 10 out of 10 marks, but things I don't like play cost. Did you evolution cost? They could have just kept it like JP. Just really, they could have, um, centering could be better the words are blocky at best but you know the problem is i'm gonna get really skeptical when i start seeing cards from them especially the high rarity cards they have sharing this blocky bit so that's gonna cost so much damage and confusion even with wording so again i'm gonna give bandai a four out of five because of that it's just it's atrocious look i get it i get where people are having their issue it's readable yes but again their wording and text type is just so confusing and just ah frustrating so guys remember to like comment and subscribe on this video if i hopefully gave you guys a glimpse at my like or dislike of the the words and stuff like that and hopefully it's not a major turn off i hopefully you guys still give this game a chance and i'll catch you in the next one peace